Hi friends, so I want to share with you a word of encouragement today. You need it. Don't stop watching this video. Friends, you need to hear this. Today, a lovely woman traveled three hours to meet with me. Three hours using public transportation, not in her, in her nice car, right? She didn't drive here in her car. No, she used public, one public transportation after another just to come in and meet with me. And friends, when she came in to see me, she was just so devastated. She was so upset because of her immigration situation. But can I tell you, she left here with a huge smile on her face. And here's why. Sometimes when we're thinking about the immigration problem that is in our life, right? We begin to think that there is no hope. There is no way out of this. This is the worst thing ever. This is the darkest period of my life. How will I ever get through this? How will I ever be able to get a good job and support myself and my family? How will I ever be able to show my face and uh, to my family and friends and hold my head up, right? Because I have been crushed. I am, I may be brilliant. I have all these degrees from back um, home, right? Uh, but now I'm here in the United States and I can't even uh, earn a decent wage because of my immigration problem. So that might be you today. Certainly it's, it was, it's the case of this woman who came to see me, but friends, I sat with her and I just shared with her some pathways and strategies. And we talked really thoughtfully about what could be the next step. And then the step after that, so that she could understand that there is light at the end of the tunnel. It doesn't have to be the worst thing ever in life right? There is a way out. Okay. And so I want to encourage you today that, you know, the holiday season is upon us, right? You're going to see a lot of posts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter of people who look happy, you know, happy people doing happy things. And you might be thinking to yourself, you know, I'm stuck. My situation is awful and there's no way out of this hole. I'm in a very deep, dark hole and I'm very upset about it. I'm very bitter. I'm not happy. I hate Christmas. I, I'm not looking forward to the new year because things may not change for me. Things may not get better. And so you're just feeling really down and out. You're feeling very discouraged. You're feeling like it's not, it's, for some people you might be thinking it's not even worth living really. This is the worst situation. Or maybe let me just go back home. Let's, let me just go back home and see what I can uh, accomplish back in the country that I'm from. So you might be thinking about all these different things right about now. And so I just want to stop you for a moment and tell you that you've got to be positive. There is a way out for many people. Okay. Some people may have a tougher road, a much, much harder road out of this problem that they're facing, but nevertheless, just be patient. There might be a way for you, but you may not know it yet. Okay. You may not even know it yet because of your lack of knowledge, which is why it's important to speak with, um, an, a lawyer or someone who is knowledgeable about the different pathways to get you out of the mess that you might be in. It is, it is, it might be worth it. Okay. Having that discussion, but don't be discouraged, get the knowledge, get the information to empower you to make you realize that, wait a minute, there might be a way out of this situation, a way that I just wasn't aware of before. Okay. And so you need to seek out information, not on forums, not on immigration forums that will confuse you and make you think that there, that your situation is worse than it really is. No, you need to seek out professional guidance and trust that professional guidance. Because when you're in a, a hole, an immigration hole, and you don't know the way out this, it could be the most frustrating thing ever. And so I just want to give you a word of encouragement now that the holidays is upon us. And this is really 
a wonderful time of the year and you should enjoy it too despite your immigration problem you want to enjoy the holidays okay you want to look forward to 2019 2019 is going to be a better year for you but you've got to seek out professional guidance you've got to get the knowledge that you need to empower you to lift you up to make you hopeful to make you realize that there is possibly a light at the end of the tunnel for you so stay encouraged friends keep watching these videos uh, if you have not yet subscribed to McBean immigration law TV go ahead and do so right now and hit that notification bell so that you will be the first to get notice of my weekly videos friends let's just continue to grow together let's learn together let's lift each other up as we go through the different phases of the immigration process I want you to hang in there not just hang in there I want you to do well I want you to think well I want you to feel good about what you're doing I want you to feel empowered smart knowledgeable and hopeful get hopeful you don't want to be um, stuck in the pit without any hope You've got to get some hope in your heart and in your mind. Okay, friends, so thanks for watching this video. Share it with your friends, family, and others. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.